Recently I made a video on how there was going to be a free travel pass this migration. And at first it did seem that players were going to get a free travel pass during this migration event. Because if you open the migration event, you'll notice that there's a new event within it called the Migration Chronicles event. This is similar to those treasure events and the goal is to get to level 15 to get this anniversary travel pass token and this token can be used in place of a travel pass. However, when some people read the description of this event, they noticed that it said that the Migration Chronicles event will only last for one week. Now why is that a problem? Well, it is a problem because there are daily challenges in this event and you can get up to 500 points per day by doing all of these daily challenges. There are also glorious challenges and if you do all the ones that don't require spending, you'll get 1400 points from here. So if this is a 7 day event, you'll be able to get 3500 points from the daily challenges and 1400 points from the glorious challenges. So that is a total of only 4900 points. However, to get this free travel pass or this travel pass token, you need a total of 6000 points. So at first it seemed like there was no way to get this travel pass for free except by buying this $10 pack that gives you 2000 experience. However, when GM was asked about this, she said that it's going to last throughout the migration event. That is, it's going to be a two week event and not a one week event. So if that is true, then it'll definitely be possible to get this anniversary travel pass token without spending any money. However, it'll still take a lot of grinding because you'll have to grind for about 10 to 12 days to get it. Also, some of the daily challenges that you see here are extremely difficult to do on your farm accounts. For example, using 8 armament raffles is going to be very difficult because it's hard to get armament raffles on your farm account. The second one which is defeat 25 mercenaries is also going to be difficult especially if your farm accounts don't have a lot of troops or stats. And even if it is possible, it's going to be very time consuming. It's probably going to take over 10 minutes to finish this task on one farm account. And the third task, which is collect flowers 12 times, is also going to be very time consuming because it's going to require you to log into your farm accounts at least three times per day. So basically, if you do have a lot of farm accounts, it's going to be very time consuming to do all of these tasks every single day on them. You'll have to do them for at least 10 to 12 days to get the migration pass. So is this travel pass token worth grinding or not? Well, in my opinion, if you're a non-spender, then you have no other way of getting a free travel pass, so it's 100% worth it. However, if you do spend, then you have to ask yourself how much your time is worth. If we assume that you have to spend about 10 minutes per farm every single day for about 12 days to get this free migration pass, then it's going to take 2 hours per farm to get a migration pass, that is you're basically getting $5 worth of stuff for 2 hours of your time. So if you think 2 hours of your time is worth more than $5, then this free travel pass won't be worth it for you. My 2 hours are definitely worth more than $5, so I'm definitely not going to grind on my farms for this pass. Also, I think this is only going to be a one-time thing because the item is called the Anniversary Travel Pass Token, which means that they're giving it for free only because it is their anniversary. So probably the next time they give this for free is going to be their next anniversary and it's not going to be something that will happen every single migration. And one more thing, GM has also confirmed that the migration token will expire at the end of this migration event. So you have to use it during this migration event or you won't be able to use it next time. So that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this video. Let me know your thoughts about the changes made to the migration event in the comments down below. Before I end this video, I'd like to thank all of my patrons for the support. You can find my Patreon link in the description. Thanks for watching the video guys and I will see y'all in the next one.